A fraud alert for you tonight that has already taken nearly $120 million. She's the one out of money to the tune of more than $100,000. For the past two years, I've been going after scammers. In that time, I've destroyed computers, saved victims, and even confronted scammers face to face. But never once have I been able to bring one of the scammers to justice. Until now. I am Pierogi, and this is the ultimate scammer payback. So how the refund scam typically works is you'll receive a call and or a voicemail from a computer service company. It could be Norton Antivirus, it could be Amazon, it could be PayPal, and there's some type of fraudulent activity or a refund that this company owes you for whatever reason they like to make up at the time. From there, the unsuspecting victim then goes over to their computer where the scammer utilizes a remote desktop software to access the victim's personal computer. The scammer can then do whatever they want to their victim's computer, possibly without them even knowing. The scammers then ask the victim to access their bank account where they see how much money they have inside. From there, the scam begins. Uh, hello? Hello. This is David Brown from the Reaper Department of Windows. The scammer then makes it look as if the unsuspecting victim has done some type of error or a typo with getting their refund money back. Wait, why does it say 57000 That's not right. Oh my God, ma'am. I think, ma'am, that is the reason I was telling you, please do not do anything. The scammers will manipulate the HTML on the bank website that the victim has, or they will actually transfer money depending upon how much money's in the account from their savings to their checking account. One of the tactics that the scammers use is they will actually have their victims call their bank to see and validate that a certain dollar amount has been transferred into their account. To try to figure out how to send him back $3,600. No, no ma'am, do not, please, please do not. Scammers will have you actually go to your bank, take money out and put it into a package to send to a money mule that's located within the United States, the UK or Australia, depending on where you live. Please pay close attention to these next clips. I am going to be walking you through actual scam footage, breaking it down in great detail every step along the way. In the event that these scammers want to call you, you will be prepared. Thank you for calling to the cancellation department. How can I assist you? Hi, yes, I'm calling you back. We are calling you from the Geek Squad cancellation department. And okay. it is regards to the computer auto renewal subscription. So let me know you want to charge for $300 to keep that service to continue with us. Or you um, want to cancel it no, and stop would, the charges if I could, permanently. If I could cancel. So is your computer is on right now? Yeah, how did you know? Do you have a Google Chrome? I Look do. It up. I have a web browser. Just type it over there. www.pennydesk.com. Okay. Search that URL. All right, so I'm transferring this call to my one of my senior account team department. He's okay. going to assist you, okay? Okay. Now, we meet Stephen here, who is the senior representative at the fake refund company. Stephen has no idea that he is going to be going up against me and my virtual machine, where I set up a playground for him and an obstacle course to jump through from a technical standpoint. And while he thinks he has control, I'm the one who makes the rules. Yeah, thanks for being on hold. This is Stephen Williams. How are you doing today? I'm fine, Stephen. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking to me, ma'am. Shortly, you will be getting a refund form on your computer. Okay. 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 What is, is what, who, Who's typing on my computer? The scammers will now have you use a notepad or even uh, something like Google Docs to put your information in from your street address, your phone numbers, first name, last name, and even the refund amount that you're supposed to be getting back. Now, they're using these uh, to store information, and I've actually seen examples where scammers have had thousands of potential victims put their information into a Google document. Obviously, we've given this to the authorities. Yeah, it is the refund form which you have to fill it out, okay? Okay. 
It says, congratulations, your form has been successfully submitted. So do check your bank from your rent. I'm holding the line for you. Have you ever heard that song, okay. the congratulations song, po uh, Post, Post Malone? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I love that song. It, they never had the dedication. They were never friendly. And I'm driving at the Bentley. Yeah. Just hold on, okay? Don't click on sign in. Don't click on sign in, okay? Okay. Why is this part really important? Yes, they ask you to hold on and not to log into your account, but what they're wanting to do is save your password within Google Chrome or whatever browser you use. If they save your password, when they have a victim at the bank later or getting gift cards later, they still have access to your computer and then your bank account. What we're starting to see are scammers use victims' bank accounts while they're away from their computer to transfer money back and forth using things like Zelle. There are no issues. Okay. This is our company's bank from where you will get the money. Now enter the refund amount in numbers which you are eligible to get. Madam, did you make any mistakes over there? No. You just check the amount. I think instead of 400, you typed 4,000. I didn't do that. Please kindly check your bank. Please kindly check your bank, okay? Otherwise, I'll be losing my job. Okay, there, just there's wait. no transfer. Minimize your bank page, shut down the computer, and turn it back on. Okay. Just check your bank, okay? A key part in this scam is that the scammers want access to your bank account as soon as possible. What they want to understand is how much money you have in your bank account and how much money they can access as soon as possible. Not just for one scam, but for later scams. If they know that you have more money in your account, they'll do what they can to get a quick return and then they'll try to take the rest every single time. Okay, uh, honey, are you, can you hear me? And you see you got the money. You had $48,000, $522. Now you have a balance which is $52,522. Wait, you, you guys got put, the money, $4,000. You, you guys gave me $50,000? How did I have you that? Got, I didn't have that much in my account. You have to help me, otherwise I will be losing my job because this is too much money that I have lost from my company's account. You have to go to your bank and you have to withdraw, uh, sorry, you have to try transfer that money to my company's account, okay? Well, I'm going to drive over to the bank and try to send it. I'll call Madam, you back. Madam, then don't hang up the call. Carry the phone with you. Don't hang up the call. Right, I'll call you right back. Yes, I'm looking for Steve Wilson. Where are you now? I'm driving home. I got the money out. It took me, I was trying to call you because they were giving me a hard time. How much money you have a job? 25000 So I'm hanging up this call. Once you reach to the home, let me know. Okay, I love you. Yeah, I love you, Ben. I love you too, Peter. Here is where we start to see the emotional manipulation from the scammer to their victim ramp up to another level. The scammer will start to say they're about to lose their job. They can't feed their families or take care of their parents. They'll even start crying. In this example, this is where we call Stephen crying Stephen. And we get just a little bit closer to sending that package. Uh, Mom, it's your son, Stephen. Did you send the package? Yeah, I'm about to go into the car and send the package. Okay, where you are sending the package? To Texas, uh, right? Bronx? No, no, no more Bronx. Forget about it. Only Texas. My legs are hurting really badly. I understand. Are you crying? Yes, I'm crying because you still didn't send the package yet. Go to the store, please. Okay. And it should be the overnight and signature required okay well i might not get there till wednesday morning because it's no, not you the have to do it no more wednesday you have to go to the store right now okay please go to the store mom please and do not hang up the phone i want to be stay on the phone <laughs> my god oh jesus help me please oh jesus son please don't cry go get a, go get a napkin this is unbecoming of you. I didn't raise you this way. Oh, okay, please go to the store. I will not cry. Go to the store. I will not cry. I have to go to the party. I'll call you right back after the party. To explain how the scammers will instruct you on how to put these packages together, the one, the only, Vivian Rogers. When it comes to money laundering, these scammers will do whatever they have to do to be able to cover their tracks and remain undetected. We'll call this the wrapping method. The wrapping method gives these scammers some type of security uh, that they believe the package will not be confiscated by authorities or even courier services. 
First, the scammers will have the victim divide the cash into equal amounts into separate envelopes. These envelopes will be wrapped with aluminum foil to avoid detection and sometimes even double wrapped with the ever elusive bubble wrap not pictured. Typically, a scammer will ask for a random item to be thrown into the mix. We will use a shoe and some cat treats as an example here. And finally, once everything is wrapped up and all the envelopes with aluminum foil and cash are put into the box, the scammers make sure that the victims have their story straight, that they tell the courier services that there are important documents in the package and that it needs to be sent overnight with signature required. Good work, Vivian. We love you. Now these scammers are looking for a huge payout from their victim. Instead of sending money, we are sending a world famous Mark Rober glitter bomb from California to Texas. Yes, a Mark Rober glitter bomb. For those of you that don't know what a glitter bomb is, it's a well-designed package containing cameras with tracking devices, the worst smelling fart spray ever that even Macaulay Culkin can't take, annoying alarms, glue, and of course, lots and lots of glitter. If these clips look familiar to you, it's probably because you've seen them on the Mark Rober Glitter Bomb 3.0 video. Now, uh, we've partnered with Mark on this project here, as well as Jim Browning, who does a lot of great investigative work as well, to give you a new and fascinating look into these scams and how we can get back at them a little bit. And that's our driving force, no matter what, is there was another package. This goes to show that this is freaking happening. And people need to like wake up and the government needs to wake up and like, and society needs to wake up and people in the US need to wake up. It's freaking happening in our country. It's unbelievable. It, the, the kind of crime like this that's happening and nobody freaking cares and there's always roadblocks and red tape and you can't do this and you can't do that. And we're showing people, we're literally showing up with UPS, with the police. Well, is it an actual crime? Well, the actual crime is right freaking here. Brady Du Bois? What's her name? Uh, Brady Du Bois? What's the address? Uh, this is. I lately checked in here yesterday. Okay. She did Airbnb. Okay. And the FedEx truck came and I guess met her. But what she was, she was a scammer. So she picked up the package from okay. this address. Cause when you check in, you have the same post you put in. Okay. And she just came in like she was doing a, like she was doing an Airbnb. Yes. And she had that package and she just took the package. Okay. So y'all came here yesterday and I'm trying to see, I don't know if it's a fake person ordering this stuff off of other people's account. What an absolute incredible journey over the past couple of years. I had no idea that it would ever lead to this. I can't thank the audience, thank you all enough for supporting me, chasing after these scammers day after day. To be able to put this project together with, with Mark and with Jim and to find the justice and the payback, this is all about you all, what you've done to help enable this to happen. You know, Mark, Jim, myself, we're just three guys going after these scammers, but I can promise you, I'm going to keep fighting every single day for all of you all, for all the victims that are out there. We're going to find new ways to get more glitter bombs. I'm going to save more victims. We might just go to India someday. None of this happens. This project doesn't happen without your support. This channel doesn't happen. I thank all of you for watching, for supporting, for loving on me. Now, 
sharing this with your families and with your communities is a big step forward in a way for us to collectively protect our families against these types of scams. So tell somebody, share this with somebody. I thank you so much for your support. I thank you for loving on me and loving on my family. And I will continue to fight every single day. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon.